Nicola Sturgeon's EU flag row escalates, UK government condemns SNP leader in humiliating rebuke. The row over Sturgeon's order to fly the European Union flag over Scottish government buildings has escalated, with the UK government weighing into the outrage. UK government minister James Cleverly mocked Nicola Sturgeon's order to fly the EU flag. He condemned the move in an interview with LBC host Nick Ferrari, amid growing outrage over the decision across the UK. While Moose Sturgeon has ordered for the EU flag to be flown from Scottish government buildings every day, the Union flag will only be flown once a year, on Remembrance Day. Nick Ferrari asked Mr. Cleverly, Nicola Sturgeon has ordered that the EU flag be flown on Scottish government buildings, despite the UK having left the EU. What would you say to Nicola Sturgeon? Responding to the outrage, the UK cabinet minister said Ms Sturgeon needs to stop seeing the world that she wishes it was. He added, it strikes me she's really not good at listening to people when they make their voices known at referenda. In 2014 the people of Scotland by a majority said they wanted to remain part of the UK and the people of the UK by a majority said they wanted to leave the EU. Mr Cleverly continued, Scotland is part of the UK, we are no longer part of the EU, that is the way the world actually is. Critics of the Scottish First Minister claim her demand shows her obsession with Brussels and makes no sense considering the UK has left the EU. Scottish Tory Dean Lockhart said, the UK has left the EU, so Nicola Sturgeon's personal decision to order the flying of the EU flag on Scottish government buildings makes no sense. It reconfirms the SNP's refusal to accept referendum results and their ongoing focus on constitutional issues at the expense of more important priorities. But we should not be surprised. Like all nationalists, Sturgeon is obsessed with flags. Viewers of Mr. Clearly's interview responded in similar fury, saying, How's it normal to fly the EU flag and not the Union flag? She is dividing our country. Another added, The UK government should not be allowing Sturgeon to do it. The UK government has the power to overrule Sturgeon and take back control of flag flying protocols across the United Kingdom. A recent poll of Express.co.uk readers showed overwhelming support to ban Ms Sturgeon from flying the EU flag. Prior to the new order, the EU flag has usually only been raised over buildings, including St Andrew's House in Edinburgh, to celebrate Europe Day on May 9.